before we got one. We got a woman who was sentenced to 30 years for killing a five-year-old boy. Here we go. Clive, one of the women who was charged in the death of that little Wonderful. boy whose body was discovered in a suitcase knows the time that she will spend in prison. A judge sentenced Don Coleman this morning in Cairo Jordan's death. His body was found in a suitcase in southern Indiana in April of last year. So our cameras were yep. in the courtroom as the judge sentenced Coleman. Now we've got Jenny Runovich in studio with us tonight with what that judge had to say. Jenny? Well, and guys, this judge did not mince words. Mm -hmm. Take a listen to what he said. He told Don Coleman in court today, you packaged Cairo like trash. He was an innocent little boy who just wanted to be loved. Mm -hmm. You have wicked beliefs and wicked ways. Pointed words from a Washington County judge Tuesday as he sentenced Don Coleman. She pleaded guilty to helping to kill five-year-old Cairo Jordan and stuffing his body in a suitcase. Now she'll spend a quarter century in prison. Unfortunately, the laws of your jail cell for the next 25 years will be nothing compared to the walls of that suitcase. I hope the image... Shout out to everybody for having her real. Look at the look that she's giving the magistrate. Like, ain't nothing else you could do to me. I know what I did. It's forever etched in your memory. The discovery of this disturbing case came in April of 2022. A mushroom hunter found the little boy's remains in a suitcase in the woods in Washington County. With no ID, police shared this picture, hoping someone recognized the suitcase and could help find the person responsible for the child's death. Do y'all remember this story with the Las Vegas suitcase? Yeah. yeah. Boy, it still bothers me. That somebody would have the audacity to throw somebody else away like that piece of trash. It still bothers Judge Larry Medlock, mm -hmm. too. It was thought that this child was possessed by the devil. But it's you, Don Coleman, that has the devil in your soul. Yep, she thought the child was possessed by the devil. That's, what, that's some of what she had to say. It wasn't until October of last year that state police finally identified the young victim as Cairo Jordan. Police say his mom, Dejan Anderson, is the one who killed him. Coleman helped get rid of the body. Court records show Coleman saw Anderson on top of her son, who was face down on a mattress at their Louisville home. Anderson allegedly told Coleman it was already done. Then police say the two drove to Indiana and put Jordan's body in this suitcase in the woods. Police arrested Coleman last fall in San Francisco. Remember that beautiful baby? Uh, with her real shot that baby out. San Francisco, but Anderson is still on the run, still wanted for her son's murder. Do y'all, uh, here, here, talk about the devil, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Last fall in San Francisco, but Anderson is still on the run. This is not of God. <laughs> this is not of the Lord that we all know about. No, it's not. Mm -mm. Do y'all understand why the makeup industry is a gazillion, um, damn it, is a gazillion dollar company? And then you all, all um, wonder why depression is so high? See, because with this baby right here, when she got her representative on, oh, she get the attention. That baby popping when she get the attention. You know what I'm saying? Player be trying to hit up in the DM and shit like that right there. Open up her car door, pump her gas, stuff like that right there. But when that baby out here in these street like this right here, she get a what's up. You know what I'm saying? What's that in the shop? You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, shit. How much on pump too, but you got to pump it yourself or something like that right there. You got to open up your own doors. Ain't nobody in a hurry to take you out no doggone well. But we will smash. Do not get it twisted. But right here, right here, players ready to take her, the roof, Chris, and all type shit. Right here, baby. <laughs> we going to the gas station, bitch. I promise you we're going to the gas station, get us some knickknacks and a six-pack, something like that right there. Uh, um, a few cigars or something, some black and mild, some squares or something. Baby, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. And still wanted for her son's murder. It's a very active investigation. Uh, you know, any lead, anything that we can do to, to locate the mother in this case is what we're going to do. Yes, that's two different babies, ain't it? Under the plea deal, like Coleman has agreed to testify against Anderson when she's found and has her own day in court. So do y'all understand that they gave her 30? Uh, 20, 20 or 30? 30, 30. 
30, hell, they just gave her 30 years. She's going to turn state when we catch the mother and tell on the mama. So you let them sentence you before she was caught. And you still going to tell on her, although you just got 30? How does that even work? So you going to tell on her for free? Or you going to tell on her to knock some years down? Or, or was you telling them that you going to tell and it dropped it to 30? Which I don't think that they'll do it backwards, you know? She would have to be in custody and you would have to tell and then we'll give you a lighter sentence. But you can't take your 30 and say, I'm going to tell on her when y'all catch her. And then what you going to tell on her for free, bitch? Y'all got to do something different. Uh... And the key word for police is when she is found. The manhunt for Cairo Jordan's mom is nationwide right now. She was last seen in L.A., but she's been in Louisville, in Houston, mm -hmm. in Vegas. And so the prosecutor today said, you know, today's sentencing is really just the first step. Mm -hmm. She says this case will not be closed. Cairo won't have justice until his mom is held accountable. Right. All around, just such a heartbreaking situation. No, it's been They're going to hold a, a woman accountable. That's what's up. Disturbing to yeah. cover it, I know. Thank it you, Jimmy. I did not even much know, if y'all paying attention to the screen, when we have short reporters and stuff, we got to put them on like the little footstool thing. So it can line up like with the camera. So it can look good with the camera. Let me, let me, let me bag her up just a smidge so it can keep her height along with the screen back there. Look at, look at, watch it, watch it. Last seen in L.A., but she's been in Louisville, in Houston, in Vegas. And so the prosecutor today said... You see? To keep her line up with the height of the screen back there. Say, Willie, is Cola Bell still locked up? Say, one of the best stories you did. Yes, yes, yes. Cola Bell still on lockdown right now. Shout out to Cola Bell out here for keeping it a hundred. Keeping it a hundred. That's a real N word. If there's ever been a real N word, that's a real N word. You know what I'm saying? Just hear what it is. But baby, um, mama, we looking for you, sugar. We looking for you. But we did not hear a reward. We need it. I got to talk to my law enforcement brothers and sisters. We need a reward to grab the mama. Moving right along. I ain't going to eat much.